All right, guys, so in this chapter, we've done everything from creating our catalog to importing our photos to also showing you guys how to do tethered capture. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you guys in this chapter is exporting as a catalog. Now, this is, we're going to cover exporting in detail later on, but this is actually a, a catalog export feature versus an image export feature. So we're going to cover this in this chapter. Um, before we get started, I'm going to remove these uh, actually from the... I don't want these to be in my catalog anymore. We don't need these two images that we did. Those are the tethered capture images from the last tutorial. So now what this is, if you go up to File and you go Export as Catalog, what Lightroom is going to do is it's going to allow you to basically export every single thing. It's going to include images and everything along with the catalog into a separate folder. Now I'm going to say Exported Catalog. It's going to ask you to place the location. It's going to be on our desktop. The name is Exported Catalog. It's going to export. If you click, the, if you click this checkbox right here, it's only going to export the photos that you've selected. I want it to do everything that's in this entire catalog, so keep it all. I want it to export the negative files, and I want to also include the previews. I want it to be a, basically a duplicate of this catalog. So I hit Save, and Lightroom's going to automatically go through and create that. It's done. Okay, let me go to my desktop, and here's the exported catalog. And what you'll notice is that it's basically a complete duplicate of our, our catalog that we have here. Now the, the file structure is a tiny bit different, and here the catalog folder, the catalog file itself is in the root folder, whereas over here it's in a subfolder. But essentially it's the exact same thing. We have the same catalog, the originals, all 22. It's just a, a duplicate. So when this is nice is basically if you guys have some sort of different workflow where the images in the catalog are separated, which obviously I wouldn't recommend, then exporting as a catalog uh, kind of makes sense. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense so much because I could do the exact same thing by simply just creating a duplicate of this and saying copy here. And now I have a copy of my exact same catalog that I just did all along with the catalog files and everything. So the export catalog feature is there. Um, if you find a use for it, great. It'll basically create a duplicate of your catalog as well as your images. It'll carry everything over.